We have been studying exoplanets for some time now, and more recently have been able to take images of some of these planets. When Fomalhaut was first discovered back in 2004, it made headlines as it was the first ever planet to be directly seen. Prior to this, their existence had always been inferred from the motion of stars or the dimming of its light. It was therefore a great shock when astronomers went back to observe this planet and found nothing. Fomalhaut b is located about 25 light years from Earth. It is believed to have a circumstellar disk due to the fact that it radiates excess infrared radiation. It is believed to be a triple star system, but these stars are separated by a considerable distance of up to one light year and would take millions of years to orbit each other. This system consists of a main sequence star similar to our Sun, but bigger and more massive and significantly brighter, an orange dwarf and a red dwarf. Around Fomalhaut A, the primary star, they discovered a planet back in 2004. The first images of these exoplanets were a sensation, but fast forward 10 years and now the astronomers were unable to locate this planet. It had simply disappeared. Diving back through the archives of the images, they discovered that something odd had happened to the planet between 2004 and 2006. It seemed to be expanding and contracting. Using a computer simulation, they believed that the most likely explanation is that what they imaged back in 2004 was not a planet at all, but instead was the aftermath of a giant collision between two icy bodies. The collision left behind a cloud of fine dust particles that was visible through space and that it was this that was mistaken for a planet. As this cloud expanded, what they thought was the planet would seem to disappear. The astronomers believe that these collisions are exceedingly rare and therefore seeing one is a very big deal. I do find it curious that the first exoplanet to be imaged turns out to have this ultra rare collision. Many questions still remain regarding this exoplanet. The object formerly known as Fomalhaut b also had an exceptionally eccentric orbit. And more curious is that the debris disk is not centered upon the star Fomalhaut a. Explaining this using the other stars is not as simple as their orbit periods are so large in comparison to the planet and their mass much lower than the primary star. One other interesting fact is that the initial measurement of the third star, that is the red dwarf star, indicated that it has a very fast rotation. Another interesting fact is that this star system is thought to be part of the Castor moving group. And this is a collection of stars that seems to share a common motion through space and seems to be physically associated. Now it would be interesting to study these motions in more detail to get a better understanding of how this might fit in with our motion considering that this star is only 25 light years away from us. In an electric universe, companion stars are birthed through electrical stressing events. What is curious is the distance between these stars. Does the distance instead indicate a more violent creation event where the companions were fissioned and ejected with a much greater force. Does this indicate a system that is much older, where the stars have taken up positions much further apart? Now astronomers currently think that this star system is only about 440 million years old, so relatively speaking a very young star system. Turning our attention to the planet, from the images it is clear that there was indeed something there. It is possible that this was indeed a collision and that we just happened to catch it just as it occurred. The star is surrounded by a huge disk of dust. There are actually two disks, an inner one and an outer one, and the inner disk is a high carbon small grain ash disk and it's about between 0.1 and 1 astronomical units from the central star and is centered on this star. Now the outer disk is about 133 astronomical units from the star and is toroidal in shape with a very sharp inner edge and it is about 25 astronomical units wide and this is the disk which is offset by about 15 astronomical units from that central star. 
and is believed to be a protoplanetary disk and emits a considerable amount of infrared radiation. Now this exoplanet was spotted on the edge of this disk. Now why is the disk offset from the star? And it reminds me of the images that we examined of some of the planetary nebula, with a star that did not form at the centre of the empty space, but instead at the edge of the plasma, seemingly orbiting nothing. When examining both Fomalhaut b and c, the two companion stars, they also discovered protoplanetary disks and suspect that there may be a planet orbiting Fomalhaut b. Finding a triple star system with each star having a debris disk is exceedingly rare. Add into this that Fomalhaut a had a planet which happened to have a collision when we looked and again, those chances of all of those things coming together becomes even more rare. The more we look at the system, the more coincidences are starting to stack up. Do the fact that all three stars have these dust rings indicate something about what happened to this system in the past? Are they an indication of an electrical stressing event? Why is the ring around Fomalhaut A offset? Many questions and very few answers. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.